Hey there, everybody. Hot and stinky, and welcome back. Uh, the Dark Siders 2, the Definitive Edition. Alright, so in the last episode, we started the Black Throne. Uh, we got the Phase Walker ability to go back and forth in time. And we are going to continue on with the Black Throne. Uh, let's take a look here. Hold on, I know I did not get that in the last episode, so let's go ahead and get that motherfucker right now. That's Power Stone Bite number 2265 overall. Okay, and... We have to go into the past. And we meet a new enemy, the Maelstrom, which is kind of like the Lynches from the Land of the Dead, but except they don't bring out any host. They are fireballs. And then up over here, before we kill that guy, that should be another power stone bite. Number 23. Uh, let me just take a look here after killing these guys. So in this episode, we are going to complete the Black Throne. And then we're also going to do a bunch of achievement stuff. We're going to open up the last Death Tomb. Uh, yeah. And we're almost done with the game. I think it's this way, the way I want to go. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yes! Boatman coin number 100. And we already got the power stone by number 23, right? I'm losing track of myself and my notes. Sticks and stones. Power stone bite. 23. Yes. Got it. I'm just losing track of myself all over the place. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I don't want to fall behind on any episodes. And we got another Maelstrom. Piece of shit. Suck on my... Did he really just knock me off? This bastard. But he's dead though, right? Oh, no he's not. See, his explosions knocked me off. And that's not cool. Okay. Okay, so we need to... Split ourselves. Fuck, am I right? Yeah, we need to split ourselves and go this way. To fight more of these motherfuckers. You guys get birds and crows. Get him? Nope. Nope. I hate these enemies. I said that about a couple of enemies. Those are the ones I hate the most. Okay. So, we gotta do a couple things and I fucked up. Is what I did. First, we'll throw one there. Go ahead and get relic number 29. And we're going to get a secret. No, no. Secret chest is in another area. I'm just so out of it today. Let me just make sure of something. Lost Relics, 29. Okay, so we have to do... Open up that portal. Go to our other... Bean. And open up this portal. All right. Then, we'll take the Shadow Bomb and throw it through. Come on, come on. Nice, alright. Got the Relic. Got 
throw that up there. I just want to make sure I... Because if you don't blow this up, you miss out on a Soul Arbiter scroll. And then we go back to the past. Let's go ahead and get the skeleton key real quick. I don't think we have to. We can't anyways. We can't split our souls. So we gotta put one there. And we gotta put one there. I'm just gonna equip death grip real quick. Just in case. And right here on the ground is scroll number 19. Alright. So now we can leave this area. Uh, we have to go back into... No! I didn't jump! Oh man, I'm such an idiot. Now we gotta go back into the past. We gotta go to this one. Phase Walker, come on. There we go. And. Oh, we got the secret chest in the last episode. I was in this room. My bad. Oh, man. That's where we need to go. Let's just use Reaper form. We don't really use it that much. And fuck these mousetraps. I don't care if it doesn't kill everybody. I just want to kill these mousetraps. And I'm not even hitting the mousetraps. Did I hit it? Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay. Let's go ahead and use that. Do a little clunk, clunk. That just opens up to the main room. We are going that way. Yeah, I am. I'll take it. Did I not take it? I'm a little under the weather. There we go. But I wanted to get these episodes out. Because we were almost done with the game. We should be done with the game by the end of this week. And then starting Monday, we're going to do the, uh, the Crucible. That's the plan. Alright, so back into the past. Alright, so you see? There's a Book of the Dead page. we got to put one there. You gotta be very careful with this one. You gotta like edge it a bit. Watch your footing. Come on. There we go. Fuck those scarabs. What is this? This is I think book of the page, the page number thirty-nine. Fuck yes. Hop back on over. Ignore them. Go up here. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves uh, the last gnome. I don't think it's over here. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Where did I put that last book of the dead page? Got to be kidding me. This is a semi -L. We got a book of the dead page before then. Can I go back? I want to go back real quick. 
Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Look at the dead page. How did I miss Book of the Dead page number 40? Hold on. Hold on. This is going to annoy me. Let me take a look. I'm just double checking my notes real quick. Hold on. Hold on. How did I miss this that page number 39 did I fuck I know what I did it was in one of those rooms I know it I might have to go back to the past hold on hold on Where is it? Yeah, because that last one we just got should have been number 40. Oh, man. It's in the other room in the past. I did miss it. Okay, I know where it is. Hold on. Hold on. go this way I can't believe I missed it son of a bitch not a big deal not a big deal I can't believe I missed that thing I had it in my notes too and then I couldn't remember where I put it in my notes All right, so we got to go this way skeleton door to key come on death hurry up we don't got all day for this. Because of this little hiccup, you're gonna be. No, there. I can't believe I missed this. It's in this room where the solar arbiter scroll was. Right where the um It's up in here. Right where the uh, where the relic was. Hold on, hold on. Nope, nope, nope. There it is. Book of the Dead, page number forty. I can't believe I did that. Jesus. All right, now let's go fight Samael. We got all the gnomes. All the Book of the Dead pages. Don't forget to jump. And then we just gotta go fight Samael. I can't believe I did that, man. Told you, I'm not really feeling that well. But I got this. We got plenty of time. We might run a little bit over normal. But we're fine. We're fine. Just gotta go through here. I fucked that up. We're just gonna pretend that I didn't. This is the first time that we've been in this room. Alright. There we go. Not that way. This way. So up that wall was the gnome. And up this wall is my L. Let's go. Samael is not here. Where is he? Oh, he's in the past.
He's going to surrender the key. Got it. Nope. All right. So this fight's not. Oh, I didn't want to do soul split. God damn it. This soul is. This fight's not too bad. Um. Not until. God damn it. Got. Can I? Can I dodge it? Can we, can we do that? Um, on his last phase, he does his bullshit move with his fireballs. Um, so, that's a little bullshit, but other than that, it's not that bad of a fight. And if you have Reaper form at this point, it's kind of useless of how fast he goes back to the throne. Uh, second quick time event of the game. And the last one too. So I think this is the bullshit uh, he does. And you'll see what I mean. He does... does that and you just can't get trapped in there like I fucking am Jesus Christ this fight uh, if you play this on apocalyptic or nightmare this fight is ridiculous dude okay This part here is all ridiculous, especially on the higher fucking levels. Fuck you, Samael. Crows! I will use this. And then you get an achievement called It's Not over for defeating Samael. Alright. And we get the new campaign, Demon Lord Bael, which we won't do. We should be getting a chest here. There we go. Alright, so let's travel back to the tree. Of death. And by doing that, you get the achievement, the Lord of the Black Stone. you may enter the well of souls but once undertaken there is no returning on this path i've come this far crowfather i'm not turning back then be warned rider of death a dark presence guards the well and the seeds of corruption writhe within well is corrupted yes but not the nameless kind who have faced thus far no Corruption has chosen a champion, 
a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished, here and now. Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. Even death. Tree, the keys, the well. Why do I get the sense you are testing me? You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. And now you face the ultimate test. Will you bring death? Or give life? Alright, so do not, do not go in there. Um, that is the end of the game. We are not done with the things that we need to do. So we are going to do, uh, where are we, where are we? Angel. We are going to actually go to Volgum real quick, and this is the quickest way to him. Um, when it comes to fast traveling, this is the quickest way. We're going to turn in the Book of the Dead pages. We're going to turn in the Lost Relics, because we have one more. Uh, but we're not going to do the end of the game until after the Salabra's Maze. So, we're at the Tree of Life. We need to go there. Uh, we got uh, we got like three more episodes after this, and, and then we'll be done. Okay, where's Volgrom? He's this way. And then you get an achievement right here called the Book of the Dead. Or when you sell it to him. Just got some of our last book. A bargain. And then actually, oh, we gotta level up. What level are we? 22, so we're at max level. I'm going to sell some stuff real quick. Hold on. I have new items if you have the Let me get rid of uh, a I few of these. That's do. got frost, that's got ice. I don't want it. I don't want to kill. I'll sell that too. I'm gonna keep that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. We should be fine. Uh, ooh. I'll we'll sell armor too. Because we are going to get a couple of things. Uh, we'll sell that. Arcane Gem Red. I'll keep that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. Sell that. A lot of stuff here that I don't need. We'll take a look at that. Man, I have a lot of stuff that I just don't use. We should be good. Alright, so now we are going to go back to the Tree of Life. We're going to head to the last death tomb, which we're going to get a, another achievement. So <clears throat> the game maxes you out at level 22. And then when you start a new game plus, everything that you achieve here when it comes to uh, leveling up or uh, experience that you receive when you start your new game plus it will transfer on over there you need to do a new game plus to do the crucible because you don't get the last one until level 25 okay 
So, just to take a look at a couple things here. Sticks and stones. We're actually going to get the last two in the Death Tomb. That one is in the Soul Arbiter's Maze. That last one is actually in the Death Tomb. So let's go ahead and head to... That should be Ostagoth. We also need to go to the Serpent Tome to get the weapon there to complete Nomad. After you collect the four, you gotta get the... This is no place for a horse. That, that brought me way over here. You have to go to the Serpent Tome. Which I probably should have done since I was right there, but it's too late. And then once you open up this Death Tomb, you get an achievement. Abra. Kadabra. Alright. So here is the last relic, relic of the god. And then... You have number 24. And number 25, Power Stone by the 67 and 68. Then we get a legendary weapon. Okay. Not gonna pull it up. Right, there we go. The Spear of Storms. The spear once belonged to a righteous warrior angel and has struck many blows in pursuit of equivocal justice. The spear crackles with storm wrought power and unleashes claws of lightning that rake sounding and en surrounding enemies with their caressing energy. Alright, and then there is also a secret chest in here, the secret chest number 11. And you get that from... Impossible. I cannot. Smashing all the pots. Uh, so we'll grab that one. On our way back around. Then after this we'll just get the Ostagoth. That achievement. Uh, called anti king. I think there's oh, come on, don't fix this one. I think there's Yeah. Up there is a couple of pots. And a chest too. And secret chest number eleven. The abyssal plate. The abyssal plate is a portion of the four horsemen's ultimate war gear. The rider wearing this chest armor is prepared for any challenge. Few dare to face a horseman clad in his abyssal armor, for it is ritually prepared towards the destruction of all enemies. The armor improves every aspect of his wearer's ability in battle. And when combined with other pieces, that produces even more powerful effects. Nice. And one more chest. And I think... Yeah, we will speak to Ostagoth. Before I get into the last achievement. Nomad. Shouldn't be alone, Death. You return. It went well, I take it. No good deed goes unrewarded. So we'll trade in our last two, which is a Tugath and Relic of Kagoth. And once you do that, you will get the Abyssal Gauntlet as well as the achievement Antiquing. The Abyssal Gauntlets are a portion of the Four Horsemen's ultimate war gear. The rider wearing these armor gauntlets is prepared for any challenge. If you dare to face a horseman clad. That's the same thing. Okay. Yes. So then, where's the... Oh, it's behind us. We're going to go ahead and grab one more achievement to end this episode. So, Nomad. Hello, Rider Nomad here. Have a have you a moment to lend an, an ear? Corruption lurks in every crack, and it seems it's on my back. 
please help cleanse this wicked stuff of madness. I'm on the cuff. Request of you, I have no more. Now vindicate your brother war, Nomad. And get from Anonymous, stage 3 has been unlocked. So, Nomad Slice, these weapons were forged for the hand of a swashbuckling rogue who relied more upon luck than his own skill at arms. Bound with each blade is the essence of a trickster spirit, surging with an erratic and unpredictable power, one wielded in battle. Each strike has a chance to channel a random elemental effect into its victim, or to simply blast them back with a wave of mischievous force. Then we get the third level of the Crucible. With discipline and control comes strength. Your prowess in battle has gained you a challenge to test such attributes. More challenges have been unlocked in the Crucible. We don't get the last one until we go to the... Until you're level 25. Where's the... So this enhances my arcane. Where am I at right now with our game? 145, so let's do it. So I don't think these benefit me. Uh, maybe that one. I like that one. Well, let's go to the gauntlets. Arcane goes up. Ooh, critical damage goes down. We will put them on, though, because our arcane does go up. But yeah, that will be the end of the episode. I'm actually going to fast travel out of here, to. Ooh, we got some skill points. Let's see what we got here. I guess we can put two here. And I guess we can put one there. All right, so we're going to fast forward to the Tree of Death. So in the next episode, we are going to defeat Argul. We're going to start the Soul Arbiter's Maze. And then in the episode after that, we are going to finish the Soul Arbiter's Maze. And then the episode after that, we're going to turn in Argyl, turn in our Stone Bites, and defeat the game. So we got three episodes left. And then we'll have a fourth episode, which is just the Crucible. But that will be it. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I appreciate you hanging out and watching this. Um, it's one of my favorite games, and also as well if you are new to the channel, and you enjoy the content, and you want some more of this sweet, sweet, delicious content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, I definitely do appreciate it. But until then, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!